Hey guys, <laughs> I just gotta say, the future's so bright. You gotta wear rose colored glasses. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I thought we'd do his and hers, or hers and his. But before we begin, I found this really cool bowl that I'd gotten a while ago and haven't used hardly at all last night and it has the most beautiful sound so I thought I would get us all tuned in this morning before the reading so ready? are you ready okay oh the refrigerator turned off just at that moment too all right I don't know how to work these things very well you can't really see it either well, there. <sighs> Clear any negativity, any stress. Shimo moke na he la kitinsa la kiripu moke. Ah, yeah. How's that feel? Yay. Hey. We have set of the tone. All right. I got all my cards ready to go for the extended reading after. Um. Oh, they wanted to say something. Hang on a minute. Spirit has something to say. I get it. I, I look a little washed out. I need some lipstick. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. Um. Huh. That's funny. They said congratulations. <laughs> I have no idea what for. And then I just saw a wink. For whatever that's worth, you guys. <laughs> Mary Magdalene has a message. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right, Mary. Oh, what? Oh, Lord. What is that about? Okay, so I look over here. And I see this regret card, and it, and it was like Mary was talking to Mary. Mary Magdalene was talking to me. She said, "I let me let me get the full message." Wow, we missed out on a great love because we were afraid. I was afraid of what people would think. She was afraid of judgment. She's, she's pretty much saying that she wanted to protect her love by kind of slinking back in the shadows. And she's, she's telling us, like, don't, don't let this opportunity Flip you by. Wow. Wow. That was interesting. Many of you, she said. Many of you. I don't want to look at that picture anymore. Put that somewhere else. It looks too sad. Which is that one? Uh -huh. So when I moved it aside, then I got heart's desire. Oh, so I moved regret aside and I got heart's desire. You're being showered with love. Your time of waiting will soon be over. All your heart's deepest desires will be fulfilled. 
Yay! Wow, she said she's blessing us. Blessing our unions. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. What a neat thing that just happened. And the star on her chest. A bright future and the sun shining down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. So turn that regret, turn that regret into victory, into a bright future and a happy sunlit existence oh, full of giggling. <laughs> Okay, now I'm really curious what cards are going to come out from Mary. We haven't even gotten to the reading yet. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Wow, okay. So I got little children. And it's funny because I just posted on Instagram. If you guys aren't on my Instagram, you need to be. Um, it says... Okay. There's you guys might have heard that cute. Oh my gosh, that cute little girl that came in to see me. Oh, well, she didn't come in to see me. She came into the store, into the lighthouse bookstore where I work, uh, Thursday through Saturday. And I just hear her going, "I'm a unicorn." She was walking around with this little unicorn um, hat thing with a horn on it. I this little girl was so precious. I mean, her little voice, everything about her. I just wanted to eat her. I was like, <laughs> but she comes in, I'm a unicorn. And I heard her and I was like, oh, <laughs> wait till she makes her way to me. <laughs> and I waited and I waited. Sure enough, she like pops around the corner. She goes, oh. <laughs> she goes is this where you live and i said sometimes sometimes for you know for hours on end you know and then i said but i have a little castle on the hill nearby and she says she goes really and then she says where is it and i said close your eyes and imagine and you'll be there and she closes her eyes and she goes oh it's so beautiful and it was just the cutest little exchange. And then, um, oh, what did she ask? We talked about, oh, we talked about, she said, oh, I told her, she said, do you live there alone? That's what she said next. She goes, do you live there alone? And I said, well, I'm not exactly alone. I've got like, I've got fairies and I have a unicorn and she's like, oh, you have a unicorn? And I said, yes, his name is Tristan. He's really big. And then she goes, or she said, is he really big? And I said, yes, he's magnificent. And so she was asking questions about that. And I was like, oh, have you ever seen a horse? He's about that size kind of thing. She's like, no, only, only in something, only in her, only on TV or only in her dreams or something. And then she, um, then her mom's like, okay, honey, we got to go. La, la. And then she just yells out her name. And I yelled out my name. <laughs> and she, uh, she goes to leave. Mommy, can we please come back soon? Can we please come back soon and see her? <laughs> so that was just totally precious. And then I also, so I posted about that story on Instagram. And then I've got this other cute little meme. Awaken your inner child with new imagination and new innocence. Discover a new you, a new world. And it says, uh, perhaps it's time to allow yourself to be a child again. Crying when you're hurt. And by the way, this is so funny. I have a split screen going on. And I have this really adorable post about a little kitten and a dog totally in love. <laughs> it's like, as I'm trying to read this, that's like down there you know, bugging me or interrupting me. I'm trying, like, trying to concentrate on what it says. It's time to allow yourself to be a child again. I have to like, cover the screen. <laughs> Crying when you're hurt. Squealing when you're happy. Running into the arms of the one you love. Throwing caution to the wind. Not even comprehending the word can't. Getting lost in the moment in your own world. Letting your creative juices flow. Unaware of what anyone would think. 
to just play unassumingly with joy, to shrug, giggle, and run wherever you want to be wild and free. So then we picked the little children card is why I even read all that, <laughs> in case you were wondering why I went on a tangent. <laughs> So Mary Magdalene is like, get in touch, get in touch um, with your own, you know, when you were a little kid, your kid, your parents would be like, go have fun. And you'd walk out the door. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to go play in the woods. Do I want to go climb a tree? I was a little Pied Piper when I was a kid. So I'd just walk down the neighborhood and all these animals would follow me and we'd go like, um, you know, explore in the, in the woods or, or walk in a field and things like that. Um, so, you know, let's get back to that. Let's get back to that. Just op go open the door and be like, what now? What do we want to do now? And I feel like they're also saying little children are coming into your life. Or little children are combining. Little families are coming together with children involved. And, and it's a situation where the grown-ups can be children too. Everybody gets to be in, their, um, in, their ch in a childlike state, not childish. And, and the difference would be that um, childish is kind of like irresponsible and careless and stuff like that. But childlike is innocent and sweet and unassuming, you know, and just naturally confident without, without um, even trying. They're just doing what they're doing. They're just being themselves, you know. So um, when given paints and a brush, a young child will automatically express and portray images of the people and things that he or she loves and then enthusiastically explain who and what everything is in the picture is so true. Children have no preconceived ideas about how they should express themselves. They just do it naturally and spontaneously in any way they can. You could benefit by adopting a similar attitude at this time. Let go of all your hang-ups and express yourself freely without judgment. Oh, express all that you've stored in your heart. You can express yourself in a myriad of ways. Verbal expression, journal writing, painting, drawing, music, and dance are but a few ways um, in which you can express effectively express the emotion, express your feelings and emotions. This will help you clear the emotional blockages that have formed over the past few months. You will regain a newfound sense of enthusiasm for life, and this will filter through your work and relationships. How oh, beautiful. Okay, and then I got Revelation, which looks like this. Well, this is a different reading, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, and right after the real you. Okay, maybe it's, a re maybe it's a revelation of the real you. You will soon find the answer you seek. Sit quietly, bring your focus to your breath and meditate. Pay attention to what you feel in your heart. The answer will surface from within. It's understandable that the current circumstance is creating anxiety and stress in your life. It's human nature to want to make sense of everything in our lives. However, don't waste your energy trying to figure everything out logically, for this will only cause further confusion. Trust the loving guidance within you and know that all unfolds in perfect time. All will fall into place over the coming two months. Wow. There was even an oracle in it, like a prediction. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, we've been waiting this long. Why not wait a couple months, I guess? <laughs> hopefully sooner than a couple months at least some some kind of little nugget but if we gotta wait a couple months we gotta wait a couple months <laughs> okay so let's figure out where um her ener her energy is at <laughs> again we're not talking about uh, male female we're, ta we're talking about the um uh, someone who goes toward love versus the one who runs away from it because they're scared it's gonna hurt them okay so, okay, <clears throat> we're going to get a Zodiac reading card for her. Whoa, jeez. Free spirit. I just posted this. Ooh. <laughs> <coughs> 
<laughs> I think we just found out the masculine's card. Sun and Scorpio, passion. A passionate, intense, or mysterious phase. Number eight. All right. An eight is symbolic of abundance coming in cycles, too. Divining and uh, trusting in the divine timing of things. Hmm. So let's read that one first. Okay. You see yourself as a free spirit or the person that's closest to you. An innovative mindset will provide a feeling of strength that may alienate you from the mainstream if you follow ideas that are excessively left field. Are your ideas creating a rift with those you love? Um, avoid being um, ostracized or alienated by integrating your sense of freedom and independence with your love of those close to you as well. This, this card is pretty much talking about integrating extreme ideas and trusting in your connection with spirit that it will lead you to fruitful and abundant activities. Um, you're an aware and conscious member of your community and your quirkiness can be an attractive element. It's, but it's also vital that you remain dependable while being, I was just talking about being childlike versus childish. I think this is talking about that too. <clears throat> a period of unrest or upheaval will lead to a better circumstance. Go with new opportunities as they will broaden your mind and add to your learning curve as long as they appeal to your curiosity and resonate on a deeper level. <clears throat> for some of you, for some of you, I know some of you have been reaching out to me and wondering um, if you should date someone new. If you want to, and if, if you know, if, if you're curious, like the book says, like if you're curious and you, there might be a learning lesson in it. There might, might be a little growth thing, but don't settle, you guys. Don't, whatever you do, do not settle. Don't, and you guys know when you're settling. I'll even say you're settling and you'll say, oh, I know, I know. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <clears throat> I know, I know. I felt, just felt some of you be like, but I've been waiting forever. What really cracks me up is when some of you are saying, oh, I've just been waiting a period of like weeks or months. I'm like, really? Man, you're impatient. <laughs> but honestly, it's like before you even knew about this journey, guys would ask you out and you'd go out all the time, right? And so this is just so bizarre. This is such a bizarre thing to go through that, you know, that these guys like won't come forward. And it's just like, what? Like, what? I don't understand what's happening here. <laughs> and now when you're ready, when you're really mature and you're really like, you really have a lot to offer and a lot to give someone. And, and it's just like, wow, I'm really ripe for the pick. And I'm kind of like, I'm really uh, quite the catch now. And now I'm being ignored. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh look what jumped out the star <laughs> so spirit is um letting the divine feminines the runner the chasers in the relationship the ones who want to embrace love that are ready for the picking and kind of like looking at their clock their their what the hell do you call it watch they're looking at their watches and they're just like tick tock tick tock you know time's a waste and we gotta get going on our bright future <laughs> So a spirit is definitely like reassuring you that your star is coming in. Um, your star is following um, the North star within you and the North star within him or her. It's like you guys have a, I'm feeling like a little, like a little beacon of light <clears throat> within you. Oh, look at her. I just thought of that as, remember how I said that the twin flames have like an orb of light? It goes into the person most willing to love you at any given time, and it starts going forward with that person. Like she's holding that light. She has to hold that light within her to attract that in him, to make that come together. And then the both of you just start radi um, I was going to say radiating toward each other. It's not radiating, though, because radiating is going out. It's magnetizing toward each other. 
Um, okay, so they're, yeah, and healing. It'll be very healing when you guys finally start um, going forward and creating together. I feel like this is also you guys, like, what do we want to create together? We're opening that door together as a couple of little kids. What do we want to create? Mm. What, what bright future do we want to create? And I'm noticing that there's an eagle in the tree in the background. I've never seen that before. So I think that's listening. Oh, okay. And a tree is about family, you know, family tree. So it's about listening to your higher self. And maybe your North Star does involve a family, a family or a family tree. So the eagle is the higher self to me. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Wow. Okay. So, okay. So, wait, hang on a minute because this is very interesting. I feel like they're actually like reassuring you of something right now rather than it being about where the feminines are at. <clears throat> maybe today it's just going to, I'm not even going to try. Who could, you know, don't label it. Don't label it. Just read the cards. So, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, um, it, this is a message for you rather than about you, if that makes sense. Well, it kind of explains where you're at, though, too. So many of you are not believing that, you're, that this bright future is coming for you. <clears throat> That's why you're being reassured that it is. And many of you need healing. Many of you are really wounded and hurt by this, by having to wait or by, you know, not having any prospects, maybe, um, or maybe having prospects but not liking any of them <laughs> or... You know, just like, like, is my future even going to come together? Like, I really, I've always wanted to be whatever or to have whatever or, you know, I have this idea, this idea that I feel um, that would be my ideal future. And am I ever really going to have it? You know, some of you are like waiting to have kids and it's like you're up against, you're up against a time limitation. A lot of you actually feel you have time limitations to what it is that you are trying to call into your life. But I also would just want to say that, you know, you have that bright future, wh whether this masculine comes in or not, you guys can create it yourselves. And that's where you're really most empowered is um, you're not, you're not going to miss out on that. You're going to be led by your higher self to your happiest family there in the background. Okay. <clears throat> but also they're saying that this is a card about transformation. It's the death card. And what is it transforming? That feeling of being left out on the cold. Oh, I just felt like, um, you know that, I, I know it's not Christmas anymore, but like, you know that movie, um, I think it's Scrooge, where they have like the past, present, and future ghost or whatever. For some odd reason, I felt like there's some kind of a, a Holy Spirit type of thing going on where it's like swiping through your life. And it's going to be a taking everybody in from out in the cold. You guys are going to be getting in and also a feeling of lack. It's, it's bringing you out of a, of, a, of a feeling of lack so that you can bring this person in from out in the cold or they can bring you from in, in from out in the cold. Some of you are unconsciously even pushing love away. So some of you need to be aware of that. But a lot of things are transforming, including that hermit energy. I feel like also, though, a lot of you are kind of pulling back. You know, you're not reaching and striving so much anymore. You're working on yourselves. You're finding your inner worth and your inner value. Um, you're working out. You're being more wise. You're watching your relationships carefully. You know, you're really, you're, you're honestly assessing your life, what works for you, what doesn't, and practicing a lot of wisdom. A lot of you are kind of experimenting with what that wisdom feels like in practicality, if that makes sense. Sometimes I have no idea what's pouring out of my mouth and I watch this video later and I'm like, what was I even talking about? Like, what the heck was that? But it's the end of, of, of your masculine or your counterpart, one of your counterparts, being in this introspective mood of being pulled back to and coming out, um, listening to that, that light has been guiding him. You've been his lighthouse. And he's coming out of that. 
he's coming out of that mode <clears throat> and he's he's coming at you he's been planning and gathering strategizing you know he's been sitting back t licking at all the licking at all the money he's gathered you know this is this is um things in a material world it's like form so it could be all the things that he has it could be all the knowledge he's gained i suppose too it could be like everything he's accumulated up until now and what's ripe and what's not what still needs to be cultivated and grown yet and what um they just said what has to come to full maturation some of some of this isn't at full maturation yet but he's taking what he can He's taking what he can gather in that basket that is ripe and he's going to bring it to you to eat like it's ripe fruit ready to eat so he may not have everything ready for you yet but he's going to bring you looks like two offers in that basket he's going to be offering you two things could be commitment and it could be an opportunity <laughs> for you guys to work together Whatever it is, it's spiritually based. See the number seven? It's divinely guided. Whatever it is, it's been inspired by the heavens. It's like a lot of people have been talking lately about channeling, channeling art, channeling uh, even scripts, channeling, um, you know, a lot of these guys are actually channeling. It's, it, they're, and they're feeling very pulled to finally let you in from out in the cold. You've been waiting for this transformation to happen. You've been hoping, and this is about hope too. Yeah, and you're feeling like a free spirit. This is giving you freedom when these offers come in. And the reason that the offers are coming in is because this person knows that you're their true love. They feel that and in, in They've gone through some really serious like pondering. This is also on like just really pondering where you're at and where you've been and everything. <clears throat> and they may be, you know, this is a commit card about commitment. It's a card about having faith. It's a card about like learning. Maybe he's been learning about uh, true love. Maybe he's really has a lot of faith in you guys and just is um, wanting to commit. And it could, that is also a marriage card, traditional card where, where somebody gets married. So it's coming in. It's coming in, guys. Um, let's see if Spirit wants to say anything. Can we ask uh, Spirit, where are these feminines, though? Obviously, they want a bright future. They want commitment. They, um, They're trying to be a free spirit and they're trying to kind of just go with the flow of what's happening or not happening right now. Hmm. Let me ask what this is. Yeah, they, they're wanting to heal this thing and no longer procrastinate. Hang on. Oh, they're, yeah, they're trying to manifest. Here you have, she's really feeling the distance between you guys. If you're the masculine watching this, she's really wanting to heal the distance. She's really wanting to, she's wanting to have, she's wanting to manifest. This is magic. She's wanting to manifest the, you guys having reciprocation back and forth. You guys sharing your feelings to, with each other. She's been trying to trust in divine timing. Maybe she's been also practicing the law of attraction to bring this communication in. Maybe she's ima imagining talking to you. You know, maybe she's talking to your 5D self, which is something I'm about to put a video out on. Or maybe just have, <laughs> depending on when I put this video out. <laughs> but she doesn't want to procrastinate any longer on at least causing healing to happen between you guys. At least. Um, she may have had some kind of a tower moment that she's trying to heal. I'm not really sensing what that tower moment would be. She's been going through her own transformation, I think. And I feel like this is like empowering her. It's healing her. It's giving her faith in the divine rather than in her masculine. It's, she's, she's like something has caused 
her to put her crown back on and get her kind of rest her worries, you know, rest her anxieties about this not happening. Okay. She is, remember how I said the other day, um, somebody said that I need him to apologize. Well, she's got all this regret and disappointment and sadness, but she is balancing herself out rather than expecting him to do it. That's how she's becoming empowered is she's taking, she's saying, I'm not going to wait around for him to do something to make me feel better. I'm going to make me feel better. That's beautiful, you guys. The moon is leading the sun. The moon is giving strength to the sun. This also can be a romantic dinner. Um, whatever she's been doing in the 5D, the love that she's been sending to him, it's been giving him strength to get through whatever he's been facing. He's been going through a tower moment. A lot of upheaval. When you choose to live your most authentic life, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> there are going to be people who really do not want to see that happen. And it's because they've put themselves in a box. You know, they've put themselves in their own safety zone. And they haven't been willing to come out of it. So it's threatening for you to go do that because, number one, they like how things have been. They don't want that to change. You probably overgive to them or something, and they're just like, no, 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 don't, don't, don't change the, you know, how things have been. But you can reassure them that, you know, that you will still, that you will still love them and you will still do, you know, you will still be responsible or dependable or whatever it is. But now you're, you know, you've got to go after what you truly love. And that's going to create some change. I don't know what that was, and I can't get it. <laughs> that's how you let go. <laughs> do I want to see it? Yes, I do. Oh, look what popped up in its place, though. So whatever, whatever got away or whatever you had to let go of was worth it because now you've got something to celebrate, a foundation that you're building that's healthy and happy and could lead to marriage, going to the next level with someone. So there's always a sacrifice involved or sacrifices involved and people like they may just be in a fearful mindset, but I can't tell you how many times that I just like didn't care. I not didn't care. Um, that's a, a wrong thing to say, but like, I just said, you know what? I I gotta go. I gotta I gotta go toward my calling. I just have to. Yeah, I just gotta go toward what's calling me because how can I not stay true to my heart? That doesn't make any sense. I would just sit here twiddling my fingers, getting more anxiety all the time. You know, it would just it, it builds up in you, and it starts. You have stuff start going wrong in your environment and stuff, even because the universe is like trying to cause those tower moments to happen to like get you going. Trust life. Trust, trust that when you take those leaps of faith and trust that when you, and this is for the feminines and the masculines, feminines are doing this in their careers. So trust that the changes that you make are going to work out and take you to the next level in a lot of different ways. And there will be celebration when you do. You will be supported. You will be supported. It's just um, something you got to go through, it, kind, of a, kind of a birthing process. It's not so fun to go through, but man, do you feel empowered when you're just like, you know what, you can just very calmly state. Um, I, I know that you want things to, to stay the same, but they're not going to because I, I have to love me, you know, and you don't have to be mean or nasty or, or you know, upset with anybody. Just, oh, yeah, I just want to be happy. I just want to be full of joy. I want to be like a kid. This is also about healing. And um, going to like a childlike state, you know, being childlike. That's your son. This is what's becoming of him. And this is what's leading you, feminines, into your brightest future. You're following the sun. The sun's following the moon. Things are going to go very, very quickly for you. You're going to have some opportunities come in, very abundant opportunities that will make you feel like 
some of you may be traveling. Both of you uh, may be traveling. So, you know, these following your sun and following your happiness, following your bliss is going to lead you to feeling financially independent, successful on top of your world, like you've got it all. And it's going to bring in all these incredible opportunities for you as well. Um, so this is message from spirit for all of you. Like follow, follow your heart, follow this joy. This should be all you think about. This should be all you think about. I don't care what kind of scary stuff you have to overcome or how beat up and battered you feel like it's going to make you. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's an illusion, you guys. I can't tell you how many times like I went to make a change and somebody would say to me, such and such is going to happen, though, or you're going to lose out on this over here, or, oh, you know? And I would be like, yeah, that might be true. But I have to follow, I have to follow my heart. This is the man who's in love who's not telling you. This is the man who feels deeply and he wants to like liberate himself by expressing how he feels. He's acting like a little kid. This remember I said that the little the little one like squeal like a little kid. This guy's like ready to squeal or shout or you know, he's like really excited about this new beginning. This is the Empress, and she's all about like a brand new beginning. She's about getting preggers. She's about like having, sitting on her throne and being really receptive. That's where you guys need to be and get yourselves without him there. And then it's going to build a foundation for you guys to be strong. Okay. So let's look at the masculines. Oops, this is, use these gods. Where's, what's a message for the masculines? We kind of already are going there. So we know they're an upheaval. While the feminines are kind of stepping back into their power, kind of recollecting themselves after the holidays, maybe licking any wounds from them not showing up. Um, Three of Cups came out. Three of Cups can be celebration. Could mean a third party. Could be that you're choosing between three people. So we'll see by the clarifier. You know what it is? It's a catalyst. I was just talking to somebody about unions happening and the catalyst. Um, like a catalyst is those tower moments. A catalyst is, is like having, it's what causes something to happen. What, what causes something to actually happen. It's like the thing that shoves you out on stage and then you're standing there going, uh, and then you do the most authentic thing. Well, yeah. Oh, well, okay. So yeah, he's definitely coming, you guys. <laughs> he's definitely coming. <laughs> this is about celebration. This is about celebration. No third party here. Definitely not any third party here. So if there was a third party, they've snuck away from that. So that they can go forward with you into a bright future, the star card again. And their happy family. And they're willing to fight for you. Good Lord. Here is like proof that he's not looking at those three other women look at that he's ignoring those other three cups and he's taking the one that god has given him holy cow talk about confirmation you guys <laughs> told you he's not looking at those three cups he is like he is on like he's got he has got that cup in his sights and that is the only one he's looking at the one that God himself is giving him from the clouds. Wow. And he's going to talk. He's going to talk to you. He's spying on you. He's been spying on you for a while, but he's, he's going to reach out and talk to you. 
to balance things out. He wants a new beginning with you. You may even want to be a husband. He's been working to be husband material. He's been doing all that pondering to see, you know, what, he, what he's got to offer. And he's about ready to surprise you. Strategy, surprise, uh, reciprocation of feelings. He, this is what he wants too, and this is also his advice. Reach out and touch someone. <laughs> That's what I just got. Reach out and touch someone. Was that AT and T? Is that who used to say that? He wants a, a, a <laughs> he wants a brand new passionate beginning, a whole new life to open up. He's being encouraged to go get this, to go after what inspires him, what excites him to go forward, and that is sharing feelings with you, taking you out for dinner, taking you out for dinner. Um, causing some balance to happen because he's trusted in divine timing, making things go forward, using his magic to make things go forward quickly. So it, it, it actually looks like the advice for the masculines came in between the feminine and the masculine, the, the stuff about the being real, oh my God, where'd that even come from? I don't even know where the, what just happened. I moved a bunch of cards and now all of a sudden it goes along with what I'm saying. Gain clarity and have victory. That's what you do, masculines, right now. This stage of the game, this, this, this time is your time. Go stake your claim on this new life of yours. Go stake your claim. Mine. I just got mine. Put your crown on and go. Get your Queen of Cups. Your Queen of Cups is someone who's compassionate, loving, kind, understanding, receptive. She's been waiting. She's been like holding her cup, waiting to offer it to you as soon as you come. <laughs> and you guys are going to share this, this true love together and be able to, you know, exchange cups and have things go forward quickly. You may have to do a little bit of fighting other people's opinions. You may have to stand up for this thing, but you're willing to risk it and take, you know, start a new beginning. And this, this uh, masculine's loyal. He's got that dog with him. And it's going to be peaceful. It's going to be a peaceful connection. So be expecting that he's going to be manifesting this uh, reciprocation to happen between your guys' cups. And this is, um, this is true love. And see those two cups in here are the same two cups that that angel is, is pouring water into one, into the other. Water is representative of emotion. And look, at he's like, he is so, um, he is so determined. He's going to use any tool that's in front of him. See all those tools? He's got them all ready. He's got that in his hand right now, but he's like, if I, if I need to switch gears and I need to grab one of these other tools, I'm ready. Like, look at him. He's so determined. He's so determined. And he knows this is a divine connection with that figure eight. It's also like infinity, like, I'm like, like a, a divine connection that will last forever. Like something very, very strong that will go through its ebbs and flows, but will always be there. Can't be destroyed. So he's willing to fight. You know, and you got brand, two brand new beginnings that lead to a really happy future. This is the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is about having your dreams come true, having everything you've ever wanted. And these are, these are a new beginning in passion, new beginning in truth, new be it's victory, it's clarity. You guys know this is, you're going to be celebrating that this is going to be a bright, this is a bright future for you guys. You've picked the right one. <laughs> you picked the right one. You will not be sorry that you picked your queen of cups. This is, this is the one God gave you. Do not worry about the one that you left behind. That karmic, um, the one who's been trying to manipulate and control you. 
Um, those worries, whatever, if you have any worries left over from that, that she might try something or that she might still try to control you or any of that, like it's being destroyed. And they want you to know too that anything that you're worried about is just in your head. So don't worry. Don't worry about this person. It's like the divine will take care of that and it will crumble. Just put your, put your um, blinders on to that situation and have blind faith. Just have blind faith that it'll all work out and don't procrastinate anymore on this new beginning. Have faith in it and um, go forth boldly. Girls, this, this is going to be worth it. This is going to be worth the wait. The Knight of Pentacles, he takes a while, but when he arrives, he's, it's a good offer. It's a really, really good offer. All right. Okay, so what is this one? Oh, yeah. And it could be a surprise. He's been strategizing some kind of surprise. So surprise, it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> See, but the thing is, even if you know a surprise is coming, you have no idea what the surprise is or how it's going to come. So it's still going to be a surprise. Um, all right. So we're going to go do the extended version now if you want to join me over there. Um, and the link is below the video. Wow. Okay, so I just put all the cards back together. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just put all the cards back together, and these two cards were facing the opposite direction of what the deck is supposed to be. You know what I mean? It's like they're all facing this way, but these two were facing the other way. True love, ultimate dream come true. Stable family. Even if your family seems to be in an upheaval right now over this change, it's going to stabilize and be the best thing that's ever happened for everybody. So trust, trust that. And the lovers at the bottom, making some major, major choices, life-changing choices for the long term, because it, this is for the person that you know you can truly be yourself and be vulnerable with. Somebody you know will be peaceful with you and harmonious with you and work with you and want for you what you want for you. And somebody who's going to stand the test of time Wow. Hold on to it. They're saying, hold on to it. Don't let that go. So we're ending right where we began with Mary Magdalene saying, don't let this go. Don't, don't, don't come up with some kind of excuse. Like you're, don't pretend you're trying to protect somebody and not go for them. Like, hold on, hold on to that connection. She obviously has a lot of regret about that. I think there's a lot she would have wanted to do with him that she wasn't able to do. And, and now she's like, well, why? I would have read, you know, with the way things ended, <laughs> like I would have so much rather done so much more. Uh, but no need to regret, you guys. Everything always works out the way it's supposed to. Um, yeah. He's stepping into his power. He knows his truth. He's coming for you. He's ending a bunch of cycles so that he can begin a brand new life with you. You guys are going to be happy. You guys are going to do great. And now he's taking the lead and he's taking charge in the situation. Look at how determined he looks in both of those pictures. It's like there's nothing's going to hold this guy back from you. He loves you. Oh, my gosh. And then I just looked down, and I saw the devil and the chariot. So he's passionately going forward to balance things out. Those horses are not, like, sitting around. They're, like, rearing up, running into this. So he may even be um, balancing out some addictions, like trying to chill out on drinking so much or, you know, whatever drugs he was using to calm down. He's like learning other ways to deal with stress other than drugs and alcohol. So that's just like a little side note here. Yeah. Those cycles are ending because he's realizing that he has a brand new world opening up for him. That's going to, where he can just really be himself and heal a lot. Oh my gosh, how beautiful, you guys. What a beautiful message. Aww. All right. See you in the extended and um, have yourselves a beautiful week. We'll talk to you next week. Wait a minute. There was something they were going to have me tell you guys. Oh, yeah. I got a new um, Spotify playlist if you guys want to check it out. Uh, it's not going to be everybody's taste. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, but if you like dancing around, having fun, then you'll really like it. <laughs> if you don't, then, um, yeah, it's, it's not a mellow, 
playlist, but you know, have fun if you do want to enjoy that. All right. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.